So this is a demonstration of our updated capabilities for age verification technology. So in Cloud CRM, we're going to navigate to workflow management and click on age verification technology. Mine's already turned on and I have my advanced settings here. And first, let's take a look at the driver license information storing information. So we, by default, are storing these things uh, and the driver's license number. Okay, we have verification screen settings, which gives us um, a couple of options here, right? So first of all, we're allowing for visual authorization, so that's turned on. Manual age verification method, um, we can either use a wheel or enter date with keyboard. So mine's enter date with keyboard at the moment. Uh, and then we have receipt printed settings. Um, so. Receipt printing settings can also be turned on and off. And, you know, age verification gets printed on receipt three different ways. First, we can just put in the word age verified. That's it. We can say age verified by, and then also include the method, how the age was verified. Scan the driver's license, manual entry, visual check, uh, or the customer can put in their own message. Uh, you know, <laughs> your age is perfect. Um, and so let's just go ahead and keep this option here. All right, so we have the settings configured, our items are selected, and we can see that we can select items. Uh, and at the same time, it also picks up on items that are part of the scan data program. You can see that right here. Uh, and so that's good. Um, all right, so now let's give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And we're going to our register, dine in, and here we go. We're going to grab our age restricted item. We're going to say that it's a grizzly long cut. And here are our options. So we have returning customer, we have manual verification, we have remove item, and we have scan driver's license, right? So those are the options that you can do on the screen. So let me just do the first one. That's a scanning of the driver's license, the fastest, the easiest. And we're going to pick up this loyalty customer. And if the customer doesn't have a phone number, we will go ahead and enter it. All right, so the customer is added. Uh, let's just see our loyalty is working. Maybe yes, maybe not, but all right, let's just see. Okay, so we have uh, this age verified via the driver's license. Let's try this again. And this time we will use a different method. So let's take a look at the manual verification. Because we said we want to be able to enter date by hand, so we get the keyboard and we can just enter, you know, uh, 25, 11, uh, 1978, for example, right? And then we can just apply age verified loyalty customer because all we just did is enter the name, uh, the date. You know, we can either like we don't know who the customer is, so it asks us to select from customers or add a customer. So I'll just go ahead and grab this random customer here and, you know, the customer is added. Okay, so that's another way to verify age. Um, and then let's take a look at more options. So we'll scan this driver's license. We get our Grizzly long cut. And so in the manual verification, we also have this button that says visual authorization. Visual authorization just says that, you know, this person is old, looks old enough. And so, you know, when we do that, uh, let me just skip the loyalty, continue. Actually, let me go all the way to the pay and see how it gets printed on the receipt. Uh -huh. Perfect. So it says age verified by visual verification. Uh, that's amazing. So if we go to dine in and scan, and do a driver's license scan and add that customer and then pay. That should now say uh, by barcode verification. Really, it should say by scan, uh, driver's license scan. Uh, okay. But you know, that's perfect that it actually picks that up.
Okay. And then we're going to go to the Cloud CRM, take a look at more options. Oh, no, no. Actually, we're going to go back here to the register. And again, we will scan, pick. All right, so manual verification. We did this one and we did this entries here. So what else do we have? We have a returning customer. Returning customer is a lookup by phone number. Um, so let's just pick up 619-246-8236 and it should give me a ton of records. Yep, so all of these have number entered. So we can go ahead and grab this one and it'll ask me for birthday if it doesn't have it. So we'll go ahead and put some random number here. Why not make myself younger? All right, and then we continue to the payment. And what does that age verification look like on the receipt? Age verified by phone number verification. Uh, so that should probably say returning uh, age verified, returning customer. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good. We got those updates done. Now let's take a look at the actual database and see where we are. So I'm just gonna scan my driver's license here to get a record and I get this one. Um, and it looks like the DL is being sort stored. I think so, you know, so that's good. Um, the only option I think, uh, no, I think that's it, we're good. All of this is working.